Hey there, how's it going? This guide will be specifically on how to do the 3 to 0 mage method and the 4 to 1 uh, melee method when soloing ult. I won't be explaining on how to do it with the scythe simply because Lance is a lot easier to do it with and it's cost efficient. It's also pretty good at ult and just basically use it. Trust me, stop using scythe, stick to the lance. If you use a scythe at ult while soloing, you hate money. Now, this won't be looking into the advanced tactics, rather this guide will be only... What are people that are trying to get their first KC while soloing Ohm? Which, in other words, this guide is for dummies. Now, let's get straight into it, shall we? When soloing Ohm, it's highly recommended to use the following plugins. Tile indicators, which will help you identify where you're actually standing while you're running, which will be also handy for when you're doing both 3-0 mage method and 4-1 melee method. Just enable the first and third options and select your colors of choice for your own visibility. NPC indicators. Now this isn't really a must, it just helps me pre-move when Ohm comes out of his lair, which in other words, it highlights the area Ohm will come out of before you actually see him come out, giving you more time to go to the right hand and spec it with your Dragon Warham. To highlight Ohm, either type Great Ohm manually or when you're inside the room and you see him, hold the shift button, right click him, then highlight him. To do the 3 to 0 mage method is pretty simple, make sure your trident or sang is on accurate, spec the right hand with your Dragon Warhammer, then run over to this style and mage hit the left hand. After that, walk to this style and hit the hand again. After that, run to this style. When you see that your true tile is on that tile specifically, immediately click on the left hand again and walk to this style. Doesn't need a lot of practice and it's pretty simple. You'll get used to it right away. The easier way to set the head in this case is right here. The minute you see him do these two auto attacks, run to this style and once you see your true tile there, immediately click the right hand to attack it. Run to this tile and once you see him do one more attack, make him turn his head again. That way you will set him to hit you once while you hit him for 4, hence why it's called the 4 to 1 cycle. Now the way the 4 to 1 works is basically you attack him once here, then run over to the other side, attack him once on this tile, skip the flame wall by running to this tile and immediately attacking him. Move over to this tile and attack him again. After that, click on this tile to get ready to go over and make his head turn after you attack him once more. Now if by any chance Ulm does a special and an auto attack back to back in real quick succession, then setting the head remains the same in this situation. Just make sure to turn the head before he does his special. To know when the special occurs, the attack cycle is the following. You have an attack, an empty event, an attack, and then a special attack. So that means if he did a special, the cycle is the following. Attack, empty event, attack, and then it will occur where you have a special attack again. So before he does his special, run over to the other side and turn his head. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like as it helps out a lot. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please do let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you have any questions, I'll be answering all of them and will help anyone learning to do a solo deathless own. Take care and have a good one.